I'm Amy Ross. I'm a spacesuit engineer. I design spacesuits like these. This is Ask NASA. I'm here to answer your questions. For the Artemis missions, astronauts will wear spacesuits like these, and they'll be able to walk on the moon in a spacesuit like this. The XEMU stands for Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit, so XEMU. On the front of the suit here, this is called the display and control unit, and this is how they control the backpack or life support system of the spacesuit. The new generation of spacesuits, or the XEMU, has a lot more mobility, so they're able to do the science we need them to do, such as geology, pick up rock samples, and also interact with rovers. But can she dab? Yes, she can. She can also floss. There are new technologies in the suit, so we're implementing new materials and we have more bearings in the suit and that allows her to move better. We make spacesuits for humans. They will be wearing the suit when we send the first woman to the moon and the next man in 2024. Yes, the layers of the spacesuit protect against all the harsh conditions on the lunar surface, including moon dust. So the boots are very different, more like a good hiking boot and they have adjustment for better fit. Donning is a term we use for putting on the spacesuit. Doffing is taking it off. So why does NASA have two Artemis spacesuits? This is the Orion Crew Survival Suit, and it's different than the XEMU that you just saw. And Dustin's gonna tell you all about it. Thanks, Amy. This is the Orion Crew Survival Suit. This suit is worn during launch and entry of Orion. This suit is also designed for contingency operations. If we had an emergency in deep space, the crew could actually survive in this suit and live for up to six days. Is this spacesuit comfortable? Oh, the spacesuit is very comfortable. It's multiple layers of fabric, but they're all very form-fitting and tailored specifically to the occupant. It fits perfectly to the person and also perfectly to the seat that they sit in. So why is the spacesuit orange? Well, <laughs> the original versions of the suit were actually blue and we actually egressed into the water, fancy word for getting out of the vehicle, and we practiced our search and rescue ops. Orange is the most visible color for search and rescue crews coming to retrieve the crew. Hey, what's that on your leg? Oh, you mean these? These are actually oxygen bottles. So if we were to have to disconnect from the Orion capsule, they provide us about 30 minutes of air if an emergency was to occur on orbit. Hey, is that a space fanny pack under your arm? Oh, this? This is actually my life preserver unit. In case I had to jump out of Orion into the water, I can pull these tabs and deploy it. So everything about this spacesuit really is built for survival. What's the spacesuit material experiment? We're sending some spacesuit materials to Mars to test them in the Martian environment. This experiment will show how our helmet materials and our soft goods hold up in the Mars atmosphere. Our spacesuits really are a spacecraft, human-shaped, that protect our astronauts. These are the next generation Artemis spacesuits that will go to the moon and on to Mars. Oh, that was so cute. I loved it so much. <laughs>